the question acharya ji says that you just said to defy oneself but i am unable to renounce defy entertainment movies beautiful imaginations and physical comfort which cost me professional academic and spiritual progress please help no you see you have to understand that uh, whatever you do it's all a movement towards the same oneness hmm? whether you are watching movies or entertainment or whatever else you said all that is directed towards the one same thing however you are not being fair to yourself you are not asking yourself whether you love the destination deeply enough to take the shortest route to it there is nothing in the world that does not lead to the truth the most heinous of crimes venal intentions egoistic approaches even all these in the larger scheme of things are flowing towards the one great end but you as a person are limited and your time your life span is small so in your interest you must take the simplest and shortest route the route deserves no consideration on its own the target has to be kept in mind and whatever route takes to the target has to be blindly chosen instead we are captivated by the roots entertainment is one such route what are the other things he has written movies beautiful imaginations yeah all that is in the same thing entertainment comforts dreams desires you have to go to let's say mumbai from delhi but the road is quite bad hmm? the road to calcutta is an eight lane expressway 16 lane expressway would you take the expressway hmm but that's how most of us operate so you have to ask yourself how wise it is entertainment is some kind of food to the mind it stimulates the mind in a way Hmm? but 
stimulates towards what? What do you want out of it? Just stimulation? You just want to rev the car engine? Just stimulate it? Or must it reach somewhere? What's the car for? Just want to raise the engine? Entertainment is a certain excitement in the engine called mind. Fine, you have excited it. But now where must it reach? So even entertainment must have a certain goal and you have to assess what entertainment is doing to you. Where is it taking you? If your entertainment brings you closer to the truth, entertainment is wonderful. And if truth is to be approached more easily by abjuring entertainment, so be it. It's not entertainment or the lack of it that matters. What matters is what are these things doing to you? You are the target. Your welfare, which lies in your reduction, is the target. If the kind of entertainment you are choosing reduces you, go for it. If the kind of entertainment you are choosing just greases you, bad, very bad. You are wasting your time. That's what is bad. I am not saying bad on some moral account or something. I said we are finite creatures of limited lifespan. That's what decides what is good and bad for us. That which wastes your time is bad. And time is meant to reach the timeless. Time is meant to reach the timeless. That which took away your time without taking you any closer to the timeless is bad. If there is something in your life that eats away your time without bringing you closer to the timeless, that's bad. Another corollary you would know what good is. Great utilization of your time is good. And what's great utilization of your time? Spend time in a way. that destroys your bondages, exposes your falsenesses, rids you of illusions. That's what Mm -hmm. The next time you are busy in your imaginations or entertainment, ask yourself what's going on. There is a pleasure in getting lost in imagination. There is a higher pleasure in remaining attentive to imagination. Hmm? There is a pleasure in remaining asleep when the thief is breaking into your house. The thief is breaking in and you are happily asleep. There is pleasure there. Right? And there is a higher pleasure in catching the thief red-handed. Which pleasure do you want to choose? Hmm? I do not deny that there is pleasure in snoring on even as the thief is using his skill 
on your walls and then on your lockers you are so blissfully lost in dreams this pleasure but compare this with the pleasure of lies in that lies in nabbing the thief hmm holding him by the scruff of his neck ask yourself how do you want to remember yourself as the one who kept sleeping when he was being robbed or as the one who caught a most wanted thief so choose your pleasures wisely spirituality is not against pleasure rather it is for higher pleasures go for pleasure but go for higher pleasure choose your pleasures as we said wisely hmm? remain attentive